Today on Track Anatomy, we're going to be dissecting the very first song I ever wrote on the Sinstrom Deluge. I started writing this song literally days after receiving the Deluge, so I think it's a great example of how quickly you can get up and running and get something sounding really cool on the Deluge. Let's check it out. What's up guys, Ryan from Oakland Ghost here again, and once again this is Track Anatomy, which is kind of like a reverse tutorial series where I'm going to take a song that I've already completed and we're going to break it down and see what makes it work. I'm actually really excited about this format because it allows me to go back and check out songs that I did a long time ago and see what the heck I was thinking <laughs> in working on this. And this is actually the first song I ever made on the Deluge. I made it literally days outside of opening the box after probably watching some risk it videos and some of Ron's tutorials. Just kind of dove right in. If I remember correctly, it's mostly using the stock patches too. So this should be a pretty good example of how quickly you can get up and running and get a pretty cool song going. If you prefer the songs from scratch kind of format, uh, good news, I got a new one of those coming next week. It's gonna be this kind of soundscapey ambient jam and we're gonna be really kind of exploring how you um, record a live performance into the arranger for later polish and stuff like that. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe if that sounds like something that's cool. I think it's gonna be really fun. I'm gonna be using the lemon drop, which I just got recently. So that should be a fun one. But this is Track Anatomy, and we're going to break down this track. So let's just dive right in. I'm going to just play a snippet real quick so that you guys can see kind of uh, what we're dealing with and, and what the song sounds like. So let's just, uh, yeah, let's go into song mode, and we'll just play a quick little snippet just so you can see. I'll post a link to the final track, of course. And um, after that, you know, we'll examine all the patches. We'll see how I kind of set the whole song up, and then I'll do a playthrough. But I'll post a version of the final two if you guys want to hear what that sounds like. All right, here we go. Yeah, you know, that's, you know, it's a cool little jam. I know, I remember definitely at the time I was like, hell yeah, this thing's rad. I could make songs super quick. So let's just, I, you know, we'll, we'll go down. I'll show you all the different things, what the patches are that I'm using. And we can just kind of examine it track by track. And then we'll dive in the arranger view and I'll do a playthrough. And all right, let's dive in. So I remember very clearly that when I got this, I think it was in like March of last year and it was raining a ton in California. So I actually sampled the rain. So that's this first kit that I have right here. I just sampled the rain and I looped it. And that's kind of like just tucked in there as a bed. It's kind of I've it's kind of what the the song starts with it. It starts with rain just kind of voluming up slowly. And uh yeah, I don't even think I did anything fancy to it. Yeah, there's no reverb, there's no nothing. It's just a straight up sample of the rain. Uh next up, I tweaked out this sample. I don't even know where I got that, <laughs> but I definitely added a ton of delay and I think I adjusted, yeah, I, I rolled off a little bit on the low pass filter, added a little bit of resonance and then I stretched it. I think it was much faster originally. Oh, but that just kind of, it's just a texture to add on top of the main beat. I do that a lot. I'll do the main beat and then I'll do some kind of texture on top just to kind of break it up and just, I, I don't know, add a little something. All right, next up, what do we got? I don't, man, this is literally just a drip. And it looks like that's from one of the kits that come on the Deluge. That's the Electron Sounds too. so number, patch 17 in the kit tracks. And it's just a drip, that's all it is. I think I added a ton of delay, tweaked the uh, low pass filter and some resonance. That looks like about it, that's all I did. 
Let's see, I mean, you could hear these together. I think they kind of start the whole thing off with solo them real quick. So, I mean, you know, really simple. That was kind of the basis for the beat. Um, I remember when I did this one, I actually performed it live and then tracked it into the arranger view and then like cleaned it all up. So I was doing things a little different. I could already tell. I still do this sometimes, but on this one, I have just the hi-hats. So the hi-hats are all by themselves on this track. And you know, I'm just adding a little bit of delay, got a little bit of reverb bit of resonance and I can tell already that I've yeah I've, so I've nudged these all around um, that's something that I always like to do I'll, I'll nudge the, the hi-hats a little around, around a little bit so they're not just straight to the grid and then they'll feel a little more lifelike it'll just feel a little more human I probably am adjusting I'm sure the the velocity yeah the velocity is just all over the place so I've velocity spikes already so it's like the drummers rap, bop, bop, you know it's not just even And again, you hear it all together. It's pretty cool. Right? So I did the hi-hat separate, it looks like. Yeah, I muted them. It looks to me like I actually originally built it into the beat, and then I just copied the hi-hats into their own tracks so that I could trigger them on and off however I like, because this is just the main beat right here. If I'm not mistaken, let's take a look. And again, this is just a stock kit. It's the R50, which is uh, patch four in the kit tracks. So this comes with the deluge. And I got this one at the end that triggers it. Okay. So it's a two bar pattern. Or four bar pattern rather. Just doing it really small. Doing a little bit of little fills here. I know when I got into Ranger mode, I did a lot of custom fills on this song. So I think just on these ones, I'm probably doing a little bit extra delay. Yeah, like the main one doesn't have any delay, but on these little accent hits on the snare, I'm just adding a little delay, so it's pop out. It just shakes a little bit. So that's the main beat, and then with the hi-hat, it sounds like this. Eventually. Right? Pretty groovy. So that's just my main beat right there. And then I just combine that obviously with the rain and that weird texture on top of the drip. I just wanted a rainy day beat. And this was kind of the whole start of it. Now I know I started with a different bass, but I actually ended up sampling my own here. It's just a, I call it a nasty saw bass. It's a, it's a multi-sample from a, a, I don't even think it's a multi-sample actually. Might be. But it's just a saw, a saw wave, and I just nastied it up. So I got, I got the cutoff. I've got, uh, I mean, that's it. That's all I'm really doing. I know I'm controlling the cutoff during the song to kind of give myself opening up the filter and stuff like that, just so it kind of adds a little texture. But uh, yeah, let's add that bad boy in there. Sounds like this. Nice. I actually use this bass in a couple of my songs too because I really just like the sound of it. I mean, what's really cool about it is I can just really roll it. I can roll it really down. Here, let's just... Uh... It's easy. It's, it's just got a lot of room in that filter to really kind of stretch out. And, and I'm not even messing with the resonance. That's just, that's just straight up just the, the low pass filter. But yeah, I like that bass a lot. All right, so let's see what else we got. Let's just keep going down the pipe here. This is just, just kind of an accent. This is also a stock patch on the deluge. It looks like uh, 62, effect sound one. It's just, I mean, it's just a cool sound. I added some, I adjusted the release, 
Added some delay, added some reverb, but that's really about it. Oh, and I probably messed with the cutoff quite a bit too. But uh, yeah, let's see, okay, what does that sound like with everything, right? Just take a look. Simple, but I don't think this one makes much sense until you also have this one. And this is another custom synth I went. I don't know where I got the sample from, but I'm actually, I'm kind of loving it. And I might actually save this so that I could use it in my other tracks. Like, oh, it's just such a nice swell. That's what's cool about going back in these old tracks. I didn't save any. I don't usually save my synths when I make new synths for tracks. But this one's really cool. So, yeah, when you have that one, it sounds like this. Oh, I definitely have it side chain, don't I? Yeah, I have it side chain like crazy. So it's like pulsing. A little bit of reverb, a little bit of delay. But then you add this guy, that little effect one on top. It'll come on the next. It sounds like it's kind of part of that, right? It just kind of. So they work together, right? They don't make a lot of sense kind of by themselves sometimes, but it totally works together. And it looks like I have a variation on that one that probably is just. Probably just a different note. I don't even know. Let's see. That's D. And this is D sharp too. Oh, and this one just goes into a chord later. So it's the same thing, but it's just a variation. Um, you know, mix things up later. Uh, and let's see what the next guy is. This is another house house uh, kit or stock kit rather that comes with the deluge. It's patch number thirty six. Analog ambient square. Let's see what it sounds like. Turn all these bad boys off for a minute. So we can hear it by itself. Oh, so I'm definitely, yeah, you can see right here. I'm animating the, uh, the cutoff or automating. I keep saying animating because I'm an animator during the day. <laughs> Same thing, but I'm automating the cutoff I've recorded in there just so it accents different notes. And this is just a little just a little pattern I got. I got a bunch of delay on it, got a little reverb on it. But I just like the way that, oh, that filter opens up and just really knocks a couple notes in. Let's get on this dance. Let's listen to everything at once. Right? Pretty cool. What we got here? Okay, so this is like my main uh, lead melody. Again, house patch that comes with the deluge. It's patch 34, square choir. This is kind of a lead line. Drop it in here. And you can see how it, I designed it so that it kind of plays off that weird ambient one that we just played right before this. This one plays now. Do 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 do. So they kind of feed off each other. I do that a lot. And I'll, I bet you I have them panned too, which you can't hear because we're coming out mono right now. All right, what do we got next? Okay, this should I honestly just be part of a, a percussion track. So this is again, it's a, it's a stock patch. It's 78 house and I'm just doing that. Got a bunch of delay on there. Got a bit of reverb on there. Knocked down pretty low, got it panned. And this is just adding like a percussive element that feeds the whole track. Pretty dope. Oh, these are really cool. See, a lot of people thought when I dropped this track, they thought I was playing guitar. This is actually a synth guitar. And it's again, a stock patch that comes with the deluge. It's number 92, the degraded tremolo. 
so long ago uh, I adjusted adjusted the release on there a bit got some delay got a bunch of reverb and I'm sure I tweaked knobs until I was happy with how it sounds but this was still so early in my deluge journey I definitely wasn't using any of the shortcuts I was like only using these effects on whatever I got to get whatever I sound I want I mean I still do that and you can get a long ways with that yeah I know a couple more tricks up my sleeve now but <laughs> but really you can get so far with just using these effects and getting things to taste and then the last one it's actually the um it's the same pattern and it's the it's again a stock patch that comes with the deluge it's number 170 it's a sitar and i just copied that guitar line and it only comes in toward the end i love how it came out though like it sounds like the theme to westworld or something to me like I, the the sound, it reminds me of something in the theme of that show, Westworld. Added a bunch of reverb, no delay. Rolled off a little bit of the on the low pass filter, and and that's really about it. I don't did I do anything else? No, that's it. And when you add those two together, we get this. <laughs> It's just nice. It's just pretty. I don't know. I was really, I mean, I still think it's dope and this is months later and I actually have a better sense of what I'm doing. But again, this just shows, I mean, these are mostly house patches. I had what, like two that I created myself and I sampled the rain. Other than that, this is all stuff that comes factory with the deluge. And I did this literally in days after I got the thing. So I was certainly impressed enough with myself to <laughs> post it on the internet. So <laughs> take that for what it's worth um yeah and then so for the arrangement it, again you could see a bunch of white tracks i mean yeah i'm just i think all that's happening there is it's just fading up i'm just fading up from nothing this looks like it's probably the drums so that's just a custom fill that i added right there I mean, it's pretty straightforward. You can see, you can tell I was amateur hour because they're all blue. There's like one pink track where it probably, it adds that chord on that one. That's the only variation I made. Everything else is just all blue, 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 which means I just made one track for everything. I didn't make any variations with anything because I, I didn't understand how to switch in. Um, I, I remember this. I didn't know how to switch between the colors, the colored tracks which are your variations on the same synth. I didn't know how to do that when I first made this song. But, I mean, that's pretty much it. I, I mean, this song was really short. This song's only like two and a half minutes. It's a pretty quick one. That's pretty much the whole deal. And then I just put it together in the arrangement, and, and there we go. So I think now I'm just going to do a playthrough. You guys can hear it. Once again, I do have a new song from scratch coming out next week. So subscribe if you haven't already, and, and check that out, because that's going to be a lot of fun. I'm getting really weird on that one but yeah let's just do a playthrough take a listen thanks for joining me i hope this was helpful i hope this just showed how quick you can really dive into this thing i again i mean i wrote this two days after i got the deluge like super quick and dropped it and i was super happy with it and i'm still happy with it i still think it sounds great when it pops up in my playlist so i'm happy with it let's take a listen thanks for joining me if you have any questions feel free to hit me in the comments all right let's do this here we go this song is called night sweats <laughs> 